Hey, this is Michael Perry here to do a little director's commentary about uh, the video I made. So, first off, this first shot is actually shot backwards. I shot it leaving Philmont because I didn't grab any photos or videos on the way to Philmont, so I just put it in backwards. That's also why the music's a little messed up because uh, Vegas does not like it when things are backwards. So these were all taken with them not knowing that I was taking a video. I pointed the camera at them beforehand, pressed record and said, hey, smile for the camera. And then they looked up and smiled, which they do. Uh, we messed up Chiefs there because I'd never got a video slash picture of him. So it's a shot of him walking and I kind of cropped it. And it looks kind of like an 80s VHS. Uh, it's a nice effect, but it's a little sad for him. So he's called Daniel the Encaser because he encased a fly in wax when we were making candles. And then I say that the chicken's gonna get encased in wax later. So that's the joke behind him. That shot's done backward. As you can see, his hand kind of snaps to his chin because I didn't have a good one of him uh, smiling, so I used that. This part was done by me putting my finger on the map taking a picture, drawing a little line under it, and then repeating again and again and again. It took over 300 images, but I love the way it turned. These are just some generic pictures I took along the way. They're kind of nice. I like them. That's why I added them. Uh, rock climbing. Took lots of pictures of this. Um, we have right there Ranger Dave. That's what we called him. His real name was Evan. He was our essentially guide for the first two days who mentored us and told us, hey, you're trying not to die at Philmont. Uh, that's a shot of me rappelling down uh, using a GoPro. This is Big Mike trying to chop wood, and I like this because it just kind of bounces up, and I thought it was funny. But then I included one of him actually splitting wood because he split a lot of wood that day. The compound fracture joke comes from Daniel, who right there grabs the dude's compound fracture as he tries to pull him to safety onto the stretcher. Uh, we were told he was unconscious after that. I like this shot because Mike just kind of waves us on. He's like, go, go already. Get out of here. Just a fun shot of us hiking, not really time lapse. I kind of sat there for five minutes with my camera on before they finally showed up around the corner. So there's that, I guess. Just some amazing plants and animals I saw, some things I thought were cool. Feel free to take your pick of what you like or what you don't like. There were so many hummingbirds here. They were all over the place. Uh, loud too. That deer walked right into our campsite. It was amazing. I really like the fact that Daniel has just his chair at the end of it for his family photo. Daniel is pointing down. This is a fantastic sunset. That's all there really is to say about it. I mean, just watch and love it. Although at the end there's this really nice red rippling along the bottom of the clouds and I wish I had stayed a little bit longer to get that, but other than that, perfect. The best joke comes from a guy who, when we were at the uh, staff camp, he said, Here at Rocky Mountain Ferry Company, we shoot black powder rifles, the best. Throw tomahawks, the best. Um, trap beavers, the best. And love women. The best. We loved that, so I had to include it in the video just a little bit. These guys got lost on their way down from Mount Phillips. We picked them up because they were lost, and we sheltered them for the night, and then we gave them to a staff camp the next day. I loved taking these. These things were amazing. Wow. I love the star pick. Pretty sweet TP tour. I'd really recommend it. And if you're wondering, yes, those are real human scalps. I kind of wish I had thrown more pictures of this in, but I feel it was acceptable nonetheless. More fantastic photos, cause why not? This photo's got a nice little secret, cause if you look closely, there's an, actually a bird of prey flying. Uh, if you look at it from a distance, it looks like a little dirt speck, but it's a nice little photo that I liked. So for music selection, I chose the song because I chose it way before I had even stepped foot at Philmont because I knew it would work really well for a kind of Trek kind of feel. So uh, I really like his music. It's nice and without words. I just thought that was funny. Thanks. Hope you liked it. If not, well, sorry.